Good morning, Barry Bryson here. Thank you for joining me for another five good minutes with the Word. We're in Matthew's Gospel, and today we're going to continue in chapter 21. We're going to begin reading with verse 38. We're going to, 28, excuse me, we're going to read through verse 32, the parable of the two sons. This is the beginning of three parables given consecutively, which address the high priests who have come to confront Jesus, but the crowds are there too, so it's for their benefit as well. And they're connected by a theme of accepting and rejecting. Um, and the first parable is the parable of the two sons. Then we have the parable of the, of the vineyard grower whose servants um, abused and killed uh, his representatives. And then we're going to have the uh, great feast that's, that's offered by the king. And in each of these, there is an acceptance or a rejection of what the king wants to do or the father wants to do, the person in authority wants to do. Um, and, and it's also about what we say and what we do, especially this first parable. So let's just go ahead and read it. What do you think? A man had two sons. He came to the first and said, son, go work today in the vineyard. And the son answered and said, I will, sir. And he did not go. And he came to the second and said the same thing. But he answered and said, I will not. But later he regretted it and he went. Which of the two did the will of his father? They said the latter. Jesus said, truly I say to you, the tax gatherers and harlots will get into the kingdom of God before you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness and you did not believe him. But tax gatherers and harlots did not believe him. I did believe him, excuse me. So, and you, seeing this, did not even feel remorse afterwards so as to believe him. It's interesting that Jesus answers the question they wouldn't answer. Because he says flat out, you rejected John the Baptist. They would not, they would not in any way um, uh, state their opinion the day before. They said, we don't know. We're not going to answer this. So they did know. They didn't accept John the Baptist, but they were afraid of the people. Jesus is going to answer their question for them. You rejected John the Baptist. And so he uses the teaching of John the Baptist to, 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 to tell the story of the two sons. One says he'll go and he doesn't, and one says he won't, but then he regrets it and he did. And which one is the more righteous of the two? Actually, Jesus, which two did the will of his father? And it was the second one. This is about what you do, not just what you say. You guys talk a good game, but what are you doing? And Jesus is in no way being subtle. I mean, he says to the high priest's face, he says the tax gatherers and harlots will get into the kingdom of God before you. That's amazing that Jesus said that. Um, but it's true, and it needs to be said. Jesus has given them the opportunity to, to, to see the truth and to follow the truth. And, and, and they keep rejecting it and, and, and attacking him. And, of course, it is for their benefit that Jesus is as brutally honest with them as he is. Because how else are they going to, to listen than for him to be as honest? And he tells them why. He said, John came in the way of righteousness, and you did not accept him. But the tax gatherers and harlots did. They did believe him. And when you saw their example, you didn't even have remorse at that time. You could see the influence he was having on sinful people. You saw the evidence firsthand that he was a righteous person spreading righteousness and you still would have no part with him because he did not fit your expectations. And he in no way reinforced your power, your privilege, your prestige. Now, those weren't the words Jesus himself used, but that's what's going on quite clearly. That's what's going on. You saw the evidence that he was a man of righteousness and accomplishing righteousness, and yet you wouldn't come and, and, and listen to what he had to say. And that's, why, that's, that's exactly what is going on with them. Jesus has not finished his prosecution of the, of the uh, suspect. He just hasn't. Uh, he's going to tell two more longer parables to describe to the high priestly uh, party just exactly who they are.
He's going to hold a mirror up to them and show them the consequences of their choices and of their actions. Thank you so much for joining me for another five good minutes. We'll pick up um, with that next parable in chapter 21, verse 33, uh, next time we're together.